I can't believe the same moms who quit for Kelly and her two kids are back in my parking lot again. But you know what? I just might have some openings. So here we are. We show up to class. In walks Jacqueline, straight off of the streets of LA. Skinny, 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 gorgeous, but it's obvious she does not fit in with our team of dance moms. All those little imposter moms got the boot because the real dance moms are back this week. But there was an interloper and a lingerer. Well, well, well. Here we all are again. As you can clearly see, we don't have a pyramid here. You all realize, with the exception of Sophia, that you are on probation. Chloe's worked her butt off for Abby, and she won a national title. And now Abby's going to replace her with some girl off the street. This week, we are going to Ohio. Sophia, you are doing a solo called Superstar. Not one of these kids deserves a solo, but I have no choice. So I'm going to take my national champion and see how much she's regressed. My next solo will be Chloe. Abby gives Chloe a solo, not as a reward, but as a punishment, because she's going to make her dance against Sophia. Miss Abby kept saying how much how much better Sophia was than all of us, and that gave me a purpose to work really hard to show Miss Abby one day I will be as good as Sophia. Chloe, listen to me. The name of the music is Another Girl. This song is about being left in the shadows of some kid that's famous and popular. First it was Maddie, now it's Sophia. Abby's already made it abundantly clear that Sophia is the only person that matters, but to cut Chloe's solo rehearsal short to have an acro private with Sophia is simply below the belt. Sophia is basically um, a professional dancer on our team. Abby thinks she's the amazing superstar, and she loves her, and they have this great relationship, and she's a breath of fresh air, blah, 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 but our kids have been beaten down for years. As Abby would say, she's our ringer of the group, and she's an amazing dancer. Um, I personally think she's totally out of our league. I, she's a professional dancer. Arms up! Are your ears? We, we need to do some sort of initiation, a competition. Like what? Well, she's really good. Like, she's good at guarding. Like, Jill, I could get a little at, you know, and she... <laughs> this one's a little bit more like, she's, she's well practiced. A lot of these moms don't realize how small of a dance world it is, and we've heard about you before we've met you. I read some of the things that you wrote online about a little girl named Mia in Miami, and it wasn't very kind. So I I'm just grateful. That. Well, OK, then I must have faulty reading. No, I heard that too, actually. Yeah, but you know, you, you hear a lot of things, but that's not true. She is a little bit like Melissa. I never did that. I never said that. You heard wrong. I want her to be a triple threat and then some. I bet Sophia's dance teacher is really proud too because you didn't teach her a thing. It's like if I pulled somebody else's work, like Hemingway, off the internet and I'm like, Christy Lukasiak wrote this. I I'm a plagiarist. Somebody else taught this kid how to dance and you put your name on the back and you're like, she's an Abby Lee Dance Company dancer. No, she's not. She's choreographing again 30 minutes before we I, the I did not realize that. I yeah. thought it was finished. Uh, that gives me anxiety. Shoulders down. My daughter looks defeated. Why is she do you think she's upset? Yeah, I know she is. Look at her. She's yep. trying. She's fighting it. I'm nervous, and we're coming in with a new dancer. Hopefully, all eyes will be on Sophie. S-U-P-R-S-T-R, let's party like a superstar. S-S-U-P-R-S-T-R-O-O, you are a superstar. S-U-P-R-S-T-R, let's party like a superstar. S-S-U-P-R-S-T-R-O-O, you are a superstar. S-U-P-R-S-T-R, let's party like a superstar. S-S-U-P-R-S-T-R-O-O, you are a superstar. Hey, Mr. DJ, when you play this at the club, don't forget to turn the bass up on the street. If Abby so desperately wants Sophia to be part of this team, you know, she shouldn't have Chloe dancing immediately following her. Hitting children against one another isn't exactly, you know, team building tactics.
help when the judges are watching Chloe dance. They see the emotion, and that is something that Sophia doesn't have. our elite junior solo division of competition. Your second runner-up, ladies and gentlemen, is Miss Chloe with act number 25, Another Girl. <laughs> Highest scoring elite junior soloist is Miss Sophia with act number 18, Superstar. Okay, so the judges selected routines that they just really loved from the day. Hi, everybody. There's something so humble and heartwarming about this dancer and I hope she never, ever, ever loses it because it's very, very special. This is to another girl, Chloe. My job as a mom is to raise someone that I not only love, but I like. And I really like the person that Chloe is. To me, that's more important than any first place trophy ever. Sophia, outstanding, high score of the entire competition. All right, Chloe, hot. Mess. Flexibility is getting worse instead of better. I pay you for her to go to class and stretch. You know how sometimes your child takes math at school, but they need a tutor for extra math? Chloe needs extra flexibility at home. Why haven't you ever told me that before today? She's been at your studio since well, then, she was two. She's lazy. Then why don't you say, do this? This is how you fix it. You are a plagiarist, because that little girl is somebody else's student, and you right, just put her name on your back. Chloe was awful today. I'm always the first to jump right back at Abby. You know, I believe in fighting fire with fire. But some of the things she said about Chloe, it, it just hurt me. What are we doing to our kids? You see another picture. There's an extra person on the pyramid. I have no idea who this is. No clue. We have a new member of the team. She made the commitment. And now, Asia will be joining the Abby Lee Dance Company. <laughs> she might be amazing. It doesn't matter to me. We really don't need another team member. We don't need her. She was a contestant in the ultimate competition that I judged this summer. Her mother, she signed the same contract that you guys signed. She is here for the duration. She wants my tutelage. I do not think there's enough competition among you. I don't think you challenge each other enough. And I want to warn you. I don't want to hear one word about anybody chasing this woman out. Well, I can imagine that Asia's going to be moving up the pyramid pretty quickly. Okay. I can guarantee that. I, I have no idea who this kid is. Oh, look. She's in a cage. Oh, my, oh my God. God. She's like a little wild animal coming out of a cage. She hasn't done a single leap or turn. I can tell that Melissa's nervous about Asia. I mean, Mackenzie and Asia are the same size. And with Mackenzie's foot bothering her, maybe Abby's bringing Asia in for a permanent replacement. Who is ready to meet the new kid? Kenzie is, I think. I'm like, I'd love to see her dance once. Yeah, I'd like to meet her and see what she's going to bring to our team. I know the kids are looking forward to meeting Asia, but to be honest with you, I I'm not really looking forward to meeting Christy. I don't believe we need another new student and another mom. Hello! Hello! How are you? Sweetheart! Come here. Hello, give hugs. How are you? Oh, hello, Miss Abby. You? I'm great. How are you? I can't believe Asia and her mom, Christy, are actually here in my studio. I am ready to work with Asia. I hope she can handle my tough love. Asia is so excited to be working with you. We're here to work, right? Now remember, they're evil, the moms. The girls are sweet as pie. I'm hoping that you are here to follow my rules, not to question me. That's what the other mothers are all about. I'm bringing Asia here to train with Abby because Asia wants to be here. Say hi, girls! 
girls. Come on in. Come on in, everybody. This is Asia. Hi. And this is Christy. Hi. How are you? Hey, Christy. I don't know that the world can handle two Christies. <laughs> Let's see how you match up with Mackenzie. Yeah. <laughs> Mackenzie's a smart little kid. I think she's going to keep this new little friend close and her enemies closer. I know deep down inside, Melissa's nervous. Here's this little girl comes in, and she's going out and she's doing a solo this week. Mackenzie's not even dancing this week. She's not even in the group dance. So you are not in the group dance. Mackenzie's not in it either. It's a little bit of a more mature subject matter. You will be doing a solo also. Excited? Yes. All right, you guys can get to know each other. I can't imagine Abby ever replacing Mackenzie. But then I'm thinking, why is Asia here? What is her purpose? She has to have her purpose. Why is she adding her to the team? You guys sure dished it out to me. You better dish it out. The moms gave me such a hard time when I came to ALDC. They had better give Christy just the same amount of trouble they gave me. Can I sit right here? Yeah, sure. We need to hide your skinniness amongst us. Ugh. We nicknamed you Skinny Christy. Oh, great. Oh, you're fat, Christy. <laughs> There is only room for one Christy at the Abby Lee Dance Company, and that role has been filled. So when did you get into town? This morning. Oh, gosh, you just got in. And But we just came from Korea, but I had to you stop. You Korea? Yeah, Asia's been working in Korea. She was on a TV show. She got yeah. booked out so much that there's no way that she can compete. And uh, wait, we were wait, traveling. Wait, 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 she got booked out? For jobs. They don't have any teachers of Abby's caliber in your area. You know what? I think her and Abby bonded, and Asia loves Abby. And she works better with teachers that are on her. And she asked if she could see Abby again. And so we're here. You guys moved to Pittsburgh, which is great. We're happy to have you, but that means no hightailing it out for other no jobs. No dancing anywhere in the United no States. No ballet school somewhere. <laughs> None of that. Amazing, yucky weather. You are committed to this studio for a year, and if you leave, you owe her $100,000 cash. Well, thank God I have $100,000. These moms are trying to scare me off right now, and what they don't know is that I'm not intimidated, and I'm here to stay, so they can just move on. Asia! Let's go. Asia is doing a solo to the music Rock That, and honey, she can rock it out. But can she straighten her legs and point her feet? We'll have to see. Watch me. Hit that, hit that, ding. She looks kind of, um, naughty. Arms up! Your feet are so sickled. Your knees are knocking. Crawl, crawl, ding! Asia is like dynamite exploding on stage. And I want her to scale it back a bit. So, Asia, I want to see cute, I want to see fluffy, and I want to see a puppy dog. Is this her style, this sassy? Yeah, she's a more of a fierce dancer. She's never been a cutesy dancer. You have one more day to work on this, and that's it. You have to learn your solos in a day. That's what we do at the Abby Lee Dance Company. She's a cute little girl. She really is cute. You want to see me rock that? The first day at a new dance studio can be difficult for anyone. I want to find out from Christy how the other moms are treating her. If they so much as look at Christy wrong, watch out. First of all, I don't like somebody coming in here with my name. You talk about Melissa having so boobs? She has cantaloupes. <laughs> yeah, but she was not born with them. Mine are real. Let me clue you all in. I'll show you no scars, and you've seen them all. <laughs> what was your overall impression of these mothers? Do tell. Um, being around them now for this short time, there's just so many complaints. Tweedledee and Tweedledum, they're miserable. You know, I'm open to any questions, and I didn't have a problem with them, but I did feel that they had the most questions. Christy with the C, she thinks that she's being replaced. She knows that I want her out big time. Oh, OK. If you have any issues with any of the moms, you come to me. Head back. Turn the police sword out. I think Melissa is the mom that's clearly the most upset about Asia being here because she's a direct threat to Mackenzie. But Melissa will never admit that. Are we ready? Asia, come here. Hey, you got to realize why we're here, right? Yeah. We came to train with Abby. You know Mackenzie's hurt. She has a bad foot. 
we gotta take advantage, but you need to stay focused and we need to take this opportunity to stay here, okay? All right, high five. It's very important this week for Asia to do well in her solo. She just needs to bring it. Even though she's younger than Mackenzie, I think she's more entertaining. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Asia performing Rock Band. it off and she was a fierce puppy and she made it her own on that stage. We're here to stay. And our first place energy petite solo drum roll please. Entry number 39 Ross Beck. Asia pulls out the first place win. They put this teeny tiny little tear on the puppy dog's head and it looked like best in show. Hi my name is Asia and Asia comes in and wins with her very first solo with the ALDC, and we know Melissa's not happy. And Mackenzie better start winning first place trophies left and right, or it's goodbye Mackenzie and hello Asia.